Well, hello campers from Jordan Lake Parker's Creek. It is Friday, July 30th. Wow, July 30th. We made it to our site just around 4.30 or so. We got site number 63. It is a 71 foot site, so it's really, really deep, somewhat narrow. So there is our site marker. There's Max. And I told you a fairly level site. I didn't do the best job backing in. It's not exactly straight, but it works. It's level. And this is the site now. Picnic table, fire pit over here. Right through there is the lake. So we're not lake facing, almost like we were when we were at per lake. We can just, this is our site and then over on the other side of this road here are tent sites I believe and you can see there's nobody here which is great for us because now we can just walk over and check out the lake. And this is Jordan Lake. Beautiful lake, big lake. But yeah, so we are that close to the water. If you're curious, this is site 62. I believe those are, like I said, tent sites, but this is where we're going to spend the weekend. We took off, cut out work a little early. And normally I do things from the uh, front porch, but this time we a little different. I was busy during lunch, didn't have time to film the intro there, so here we are. Jordan Lake State Park, Parker's Creek, Max, on journey number four. I believe. And we're backed up to the woods. Water works fine, electricity works fine, we got everything hooked up. Got the honey wagon which we may use this time, not sure. But we are getting ready to break out the Blackstone, cook up some dinner of some sort, maybe hot dog, I'm not sure, but we're here. It's Friday evening. Time for some water <laughs> and some dinner. And then we'll see what other adventures we have. We have a fire. We're gonna make s'mores. It's probably 8.30 maybe or so. <laughs> the sun is pretty much down. We bought some firewood. You can buy it when you kind of go into the campground for five bucks. So that's half the bundle. And then we have the other half here. We use some pine cones. We didn't have any lighter fluid, so we used pine cones actually. Up pretty well. We're gonna make some s'mores. We actually have graham crackers and chocolate. Probably show you a s'more once we get it done. Get the marshmallows. And that was quite a nice fire. We'll show the s'mores when they're done. We have the s'mores. Mm. 
at Chuckles has almonds. Oh, nice. Surprised. A Surprised bonus. and crunch. The fire's going really well. Focus, but it's a nice little s'more. Oh, finally focused. All right, we can dig into these s'mores. Well, good morning, campers. It is Saturday, somewhere around 7:30 or so. This is kind of missed the sunrise, but it's rising right over there. It's a beautiful morning, slight breeze. That is pretty. A little bit hazy. I'm gonna do a tour a little later. We're actually gonna go home. I'll, I'll either put some footage in already or I'll show you footage of some of the osprey we saw and actually came upon a white heron when we're walking down this path. I'll show you the path too. I'll insert some footage. But I'm gonna go home and get my good camera set up to see if I can get some pictures of those ospreys today. So it looks like there's some folks fishing out here. Yeah, just a beautiful morning. 70 degrees on a nice breeze and that. These are the tent sites which some of them are empty surprisingly. Kind of a view of the lake. Yeah we're definitely going to go back to that spot we talked about. It looks like it used to be a road. It was paved. It is paved, but it looks a little rough and they closed it off. There's a little beach over there. Really nice. Alright, just another minute or so of that sun. The gate's open at 8, so I think we're going to head out, go home, grab my camera. Check on our boy Casey and then come back for some pictures. in my arm. <laughs> I'm gonna go see if we can get some wildlife pictures. If I get anything I'll insert them here. Just wanted to show you this part of the loop. This is the beginning part. I'll do an entire walkthrough at some point. But I want to show you this road that I was telling you about. So it's locked. I locked it. I locked it, trust me. So we're gonna head down the road see if we can find some interesting wildlife to take pictures or video of, video of. 
and we'll check in when we're on the road. All right, we're at the road. Don't step in the toads. Yeah, there's little toads everywhere. You can't see it now, but there's pavement underneath. We'll see it as we get further down the road. As they, <laughs> as I try not to fall, they close this all off, and you can see at the end of the tunnel there the light is the the beach. It's actually pretty cool, cool it's spot. Good Spider web, Oof, right in my mouth. So I'm going to take some video with the Canon R5, probably some pictures. Might be some more video with this. This is the road to the beach. Hopefully we'll see some Osprey again. If not, I'll try again later this evening. We saw them last night. They were pretty active. So we'll see what happens. But this is the road. We'll check in whatever our next adventure is. All right, so we're going to call this segment a cautionary tale. We used the honey wagon even though we didn't have to, but just so we could see how well it works. And this is the Rhino 15 gallon. You can see here, and our, we've got the 2021 Honda Pilot. And we've got a two inch rise on our ball hitch. And one of the things that we didn't realize until we'd already filled it up is that there's this little hook right here, and this hook is designed to allow you to put it on your ladder. Like if you have a big RV, you can hang it on the ladder. You can see it's all scratched up. That was just moving it from where we filled it over in the gravel to the car. What we didn't realize was that when we put it on the car with the included handle, this dragged on the ground. <laughs> so if you do have a vehicle like a pilot or something like that one and a two inch rise and you feel like your hitch might be a little bit low you're definitely going to want to remove this and we didn't remove this because we hooked it up with bungees Lena did a great job of engineering a bungee solution and we drove really slowly to the dump station which wasn't too far away but you're definitely going to want to remove this we are going to do that when we get back home luckily we're, tomorrow we're leaving so we can just go to the dump station but um yeah i would say it was a very stressful trial of the honey wagon, but I will say that it did a good job. It was easy to use, it wasn't messy at all. I mean, other than you know, the worst messy was it not being high enough off the ground. It worked out pretty well. Also, with the way the handle is connected, you might want to secure the handle with a bungee. And maybe we'll show you, if we use it again, maybe we'll show you what we do for our setup after we remove that ladder hook. So that was the excitement that we had for this afternoon. <laughs> that was a little bit of stress. I was thinking about going home to get Alan just to remove it or going to Lowe's from here and we just decided that we're going to try to, well we decided decide to try to rig something up which is a great job and we're able to get it to the dump station. So if you do have these Rhino and, and you do have a, like a, you know, an SUV or minivan or something like that. You might just want to make sure that before you fill it up, hook it up and make sure that it's actually going to clear, that that little hook is going to clear the ground when you're connected. If not, then you're going to want to use that. It's the cautionary, cautionary tale. Um, earlier we didn't see any osprey, but it's later in the afternoon, so we're probably going to go check out after dinner. Maybe we can get some osprey shots and get the Canon R5 with the 150 to 600 nines. We'll see if we can't get some shots. I got a couple shots of crows. Nothing too exciting. So hopefully there'll be some footage in here of Osprey video or some good pictures. We'll see. All right, we'll check in with whatever is next. All right, I wanted to show a couple mods we made. Well, not really a mod, but this is just a nice over-the-door hanger that we found that comes in quite handy. Just kind of hangs over the door. You can put whatever you'd like in those two drawers there. Also I wanted to show you the cushions. So these are the cushions that we got. It kind of fits in with our teal motif. They're four inch cushions and I'll put a link if I can find it 
to the cushions that we got. I think they were $99 for the set. So what we decided is these are 24 inch cushions and it's 22 inches roughly between the side here and where the bed meets or where it meets the bed. But it turned out they actually fit pretty well. And it comes with the, the backing here. So the back is probably a little high. You can see it goes up into the window. But you can also use those as throw pillows or prop pillows. And you can kind of put these down, make them half pillows as well. But they're really comfortable, really firm. And I think this is a really good solution to the issue that we had. We didn't want to pay, I know a lot of people I saw on the Facebook group paid, you know, four hundred dollars for custom cushions and just didn't wanna didn't want to do that. So I think these were ninety nine dollars. And uh yeah, that's the latest mods, what we've done inside, and we decided that we're gonna sleep at this end of the bed instead of that end. It's just a little more sheltered from the AC, a little more sheltered from the AC noise. Turns out we both slept pretty well, even though the AC is still pretty loud in here, but that's it on the inside. Just wanted to show you what we had done. Well, it's Saturday night, around 8.30 or so, I think. We had some s'mores, got a nice fire going. Um, oh, maybe you can see it just slightly. Hope not. I didn't catch any Osprey photos, so there won't be any Osprey photos. I either put the video in, or you'll see the video of the Osprey that I saw filmed with my iPhone. Don't think it was very good footage, but that's what I was able to get. We're gonna cook up some breakfast tomorrow, bacon and eggs, and then maybe have lunch here, and then we're gonna head back home. It's been a great day, beautiful weather. It's supposed to be cloudy and potentially rainy tomorrow, but we'll see. We're going to try to catch the sunset too, so if we can catch the sunset, I will... Sunrise. Let's see, yeah, sunrise. Put it into the video. If not, then we'll see us cooking breakfast tomorrow. That's going to be it for tonight.